I'm a complete PC noob. Could you explain what B die is exactly? B die. B die. Okay, like there's three main memory manufacturers. Four? Three or four? Manufacturers. Crucial. Hynix. Samsung. What chips are crucial again? I think it was just crucial. I can't remember what the hell it was. They have their own. Micron. That's it. Micron. Micron and Crucial are the same company, right? Um. So, and I think Alpida might be around somewhere still, to be honest. Um. So, th um, these manufacturers have different revisions of chips. So, let's say Micron has revision e so you'll hear tech tubers talk about micron rev e they have rev b they have rev c and what this means is um how late in the manufacturing process there are so like when ddr4 first came out they might be on like rev a and these ones might overclock like garbage right and then like now maybe we're on rev e that's how many revisions there have been right so in the, in the case of B-Dye, Samsung has like E-Dye, B-Dye, C-Dye. It's the same thing. It's different revisions, right? So B-Dye was the one that came out second. I think C-Dye might have been first. I can't remember now. Um, so B-Dye was the one that came out second. And these ones only come in 8 gigabyte capacities per bank. And for some reason, these ones just happen to overclock the best out of any of the DDR4 RAM chips. That's all that means. So you can get like e die and all that fucking nonsense. These ones, so these ones are actually better. Okay, you know, okay, the term, the term better is, um, contingent on the application so you're not gonna see servers putting an eight gigabyte b die in the fucking servers eight gigabyte b dies have a high load on the memory controller because it's kind of like an older way of doing it and they don't clock very high right you can get like like think about it you can get fucking hynix cjr or whatever and they'll go like 5500 megahertz on the ram at like 1.35 volts or some crazy shit. It's an efficient, very, very efficient memory chip, right? B die can't, but you can't tighten the timings on these ones. That's why, right? So memory and server, like server manufacturers are going to go for the revision that has the lowest voltage with the highest frequency and performance, right? To save power and to reduce load on the memory controller so you're they're like like, like b die is for gamers everything else is for servers pretty much right um that's pretty much it in a nutshell so whenever you hear someone say b die they're talking about a specific samsung chip i think my bottle's leaking what the hell's going on here um they're talking about a specific samsung chip that is the best overclocker and that's where the majority of all your performance comes from is from this specific memory chip all the other ones are kind of the same shit and they're way cheaper too it is expensive to get these ones um dude b die is fucking expensive i paid 400 dollars for a 2x16 400 dollars for 2x16 b die insanity vipers are still the best deal vipers are still the best deal that you can find um i saw your sub brooklyn give me a second my man i'm just catching up um no b die b die you can okay <sighs> It's just kind of a crude way of thinking about it, but let's say I actually don't know how I'm going to explain this properly. Like if uh, 
you can assume B die is this like block and let's say this block weighs 10 pounds and um the Hynix chip is like this and it weighs five pounds the memory controller is gonna have way easier of a time moving this so you're gonna this is such a weird analogy but you're gonna have to pump way more voltage into your memory controller for it to be able to move this but this can go way faster like think it like you know what i mean i don't like i don't know why the heavier object would be able to go faster but it's just imagine that it can okay it has a higher top speed okay because apparently rocks and cylinders and concrete have top speeds okay um how do i donate 15 dollars for the windows key just go to the about page on my twitch go to the bottom donate 15 bucks i'll send you a key later i'll email you one um they don't servers don't need quick memory do they need they need capacity and voltage right that's why every revision of memory chip that goes along further and further is less and less voltage faster and faster and faster it's just getting efficiency down they don't care about overclocking they care about efficiency right that's why the new chips go to like fucking six gigahertz at 1.2 volts right um with only using XMP, how important is it to get B die? If you just don't want to tune prime or secondaries, you wouldn't notice a difference then, because you, you can get Hynix ones with the same primaries, ish. Like 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 when you when you enable XMP on B die. Oh, what's up, Wonder Miho, my man? Thanks so much, dude. Uh, what button we got for you here? Now go ahead. Get a taste of that Big Mac. It's really good. I gotta increase the volume on the Big Mac. Um, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, all right. B die. So when you enable XMP on B die, it usually puts TRFC at 700 and sometimes it'll do like twl tcwl or some shit um this is the same as hynix so if you're only using xmp then don't worry about b die dude it won't mean shit all to you because uh hynix sets trfc at 700 as well um so let's say This is the toilet. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is a little flusher here. And then, uh, so this is this would be you, right? Normally, you'd have your like you do you'd be doing the fucking hunch. <laughs> I love paint, dude. Holy Christ, I fucking love paint. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So oh i am gonna add the dick don't worry so this is you looking at your phone right you got the the fucking iphone here because you can't take a shit without that right <laughs> oh my god oh it's like a newspaper hang on i'm gonna put a little fucking newspaper shit here yeah okay so this is normal this is normal right and then uh this is your asshole dropping logs here so this is how you would normally take a shit right oh my god this is how you would normally take a shit and then apparently what the squatty potty does can i copy this oh perfect <laughs> So apparently what the squatty potty does is it like hang on where's my eraser here holy shit you have this thing it's like a, a stool of some sort not like a poop stool like a uh a ch like a and then you you put your legs up on this like stool like this and then apparently can i hang on i don't think i can rotate this can i oh i can wait a minute 
Rotate. Oh, I can't. I should have done this in Photoshop. I can't actually just rotate the guy. You know what I mean? But um, apparently. Oh no. Okay. Well, apparently it's you're supposed to like. It's supposed to like tilt your back upward a little bit, right? So then the flow of the poop isn't supposed to be like constrained in this area your, your back is supposed to be up straight like this right and then apparently it's supposed to flow the poop better i don't know has anyone actually tried it <laughs> wait 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 this is me though this is me this is me hang on This is fucking touching the water from how big it is, dude. Oh, Christ. This is the water level here. Oh, this, yo, you, if you don't have this problem, then you, then you don't know. Then you don't know.